Hello everyone, this is Louis again. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Make Human to make a head model based on, can be anything really, but in this case, for the character of Bart, played by Luke Evans. So I've gathered a lot of references for uh, his face and basically I need to select the one I'm gonna use as my main basis for the my, my main reference you can use everything as a reference to, to help you make the face uh, but I'm gonna choose the best one uh, I'm mostly looking for like a frontal angle, so so something like this where the face is at an angle, it's not really, or it has like too many shadows, it's not ideal, so something like this is not, not very good, but you can still use it, you can still use it for textures, I use a uh, one or two sometimes three but usually just one or two photographs um, to make uh, the face textures and these are probably gonna be useful like photos that have a lot of detail like this are gonna be very useful and don't have like really bright spots so it's kind of flat uh, but for the model something like this is a bit better uh, here but you're losing a bit of detail uh, so I think there's a few candidates here so this one this one this and this uh, I like this one but uh, I don't know if it's the lens it has seems to have a bit of a distortion so the face looks a bit too flat uh, I like this one a bit better so I'm gonna try to use this one uh, so first I'm gonna try and prepare it for for uh, make human and I can't open the Photoshop for some reason so I'm just going to open Photoshop. And I'm just going to drag it and it's going to open it. So I'm going to right click and make layer from background so I can edit it. And here I have the, the rulers. Uh, if you go to view, you can uh, deselect or select the the rulers on top and on the on the side and I'm just gonna drag from the ruler is in right click so I have a, a kind of symmetry line and then I'm gonna rotate it a little bit and center the the photo Yeah, this looks good. I'm just gonna take a look here. I don't know if his face is facing upwards a little, but it's probably not a big deal, but something to keep in mind. Yeah. So here it looks, looks kind of symmetrical. Um, for most faces, uh, I like to keep it, keep the symmetry. But sometimes it's good to just add some. Not uh, faces are not perfectly symmet uh, symmetrical, so make him one allows you to preserve that asymmetry if you want as well 
so I'm trying to place it roughly in the middle can take some of this head off good so this is this is pretty good and I'm just gonna save it oh, I'm just going to file and save as so yeah I use the uh, the crop tool to just crop it and you have like deleted crop pixels where you can unselect it if you if you want to adjust it more uh, so let's save as uh, so just name it bard base now is my image and I'm gonna copy it and in your documents you're gonna have a the make human uh, folder and this is uh, a previous version that I have and this is the new version that I'm using so uh, depending on if you have one or two versions you might only have one one option here but this is the version 1 py3 <laughs> v1 py3 and inside it you go on backgrounds and you paste your backgrounds so now I'm gonna launch uh, make human uh, you can um, Leave Photoshop open or close, doesn't really matter. So I have make human here, and I'm just gonna launch it. So for for the face, um uh, I don't try to be like completely perfect. Uh, just an approximation is good enough. So for the controls, uh, left click, you're gonna rotate the model. Um, I think you press. Uh, and uh, right click to zoom in and out it's a bit weird but every every 3d tool is gonna be a bit different and then to pan yeah it's a bit weird Now, middle mouse click is gonna do some panning, but it's a bit awkward. I'm trying to figure out what the, the best controls are. But doesn't seem to have like really great uh, camera controls, but so basically uh, right click, right mouse click to zoom in and out, and uh, and left click, left mouse click to rotate the model. So to see your, I'm gonna do some basic stuff for now, just to set it up a little bit. So just set the the gender. So you can just set it to male uh, age you can go really old or like a little baby uh, I'm gonna try to go just a little bit older muscle is not gonna matter too much I don't think for the face 
uh, wait, um, go a bit lower, height doesn't really matter, proportions, no. This I'm gonna go, you usually don't want to go like full in one of on like occasion. I'll say somewhere around here is okay. Maybe too old. I'm not sure. So yeah. And I'm gonna set a material. Uh, I usually like to just do middle middle age. Because it doesn't really look that old. Uh, Luke Evans, I'm not sure. He's probably like around 50. So that's kind of middle age, I guess. Um, And you go to settings here and go to background. It's gonna, it's gonna give you a warning uh, about where to put the, the backgrounds. So that's that's useful. I think I had to figure it out by myself the first time I did it. So it's gonna tell you exactly where you have to put your background images. So here's my background image here. And I'm gonna press the this button here. So it, I can go uh, talk a little bit about this one. This has like a, a, a smooth, I don't really use. Wireframe sometimes is useful. Uh, here, like pose, I don't really use. Uh, the grid, you, you can, you don't really need a grid. Uh, this is the texture, so if you want to, uh, this is the background, so if you want to uh, select the background. Uh, so this is for symmetry. Uh, this is like, you can do just one side and then do a symmetry. You can do the left side and do a symmetry or do both sides. And this is probably going to do a, a, a kind of average of both, uh, which I've never used, but you might want to do it that way. I think it's going to take a bit longer to do it that way. Uh, and these are views. So you can have a back view, a side view. This is probably like a, a right view and a left view, top view and a bottom view. So for now, I'm going to click on front view and select my board again. Let me just, I'm in other here, so I'm going to select none for other, and I'm going to select front. Um, and this should be visible now for the front uh, viewer. So you can click here to move and resize. Uh, to scale it, use the right mouse button. I also want it to be on the foreground. So right click to and middle mouse to pan it or, or right click or left click to move it around and right click to It. So yeah. Sorry. Move and resize. Why it's doing this way? Move and resize. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to make like an approximate alignment. I think this is good enough. So yeah, you, and yeah, I kind of keep it at like 50%. And that's it for the background. So you can go to files and save it. You don't have to kind of navigate anywhere specific. You can just save it. Just pick a name and save it. And then it's going to be available when you press on load. So yeah, we're going to continue in modeling. Gender doesn't really matter. Then have face. Now that I'm in, in front view, in the front view here, uh, I can use the middle mouse button to to navigate, and the scroll wheel is also working to zoom in and out, or the right mouse button. So here you have another age thing. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Um, let me see if I can find can use this as a rough reference. Head fat, not really a lot. Can go a bit low. Angle. Don't really mess with angle too much. Here he has a bit of a inverted triangular face. So you can push that a, a bit more. And then the rest kind of doesn't matter that much. Um, so you're probably just going to be doing face and you have your different categories here. And so the, they're basically just sliders. It's not that complicated. And... Um, I don't know if, if I need to do any scaling. I don't think so. Uh, forehead bulge. Mm, it doesn't look to have much of a forehead bulge. So... Yeah, his forehead is a bit flat, so he has a little bit of the bulge, just a little. Um, this is not really necessary. Tempo bulge, let me see. Doesn't have a lot of a tempo bulge that I can see. Is a very slight one. So 
I won't just it's a slight one inwards I I'll go to eyebrows uh his eyebrows have like a a V shape uh bulge a little bit you can see here how bright it is do I have to be like really just really soft so the angle kind of a angry angle Little. Don't need to move this. Not that much. Um. Neck. It doesn't have any double necks, so it's a so reduce it a little bit. Okay, so the eyes. So I'm gonna do the right eye, and then I'm gonna copy to the left eye, and I may, might make some changes. So here he is have like a kind of heavy eye bag fold here on the top that I'm gonna try to emulate. Um, not really big eye bags on the bottom. I might even decrease it a little bit. Eye bag distortion. Mm. None that I can see that much. Yeah, so I fold. Gonna be to the to the left side. I can't this. Yeah, he has the. Uh, it's kind of stretched out interestingly I'll leave it about here I fold the volume should be pretty big So yeah, this is really high or this is really low. I'm gonna put it kind of low. You can see how the it's, it's really a lot.
uh, let me move the position a little bit. And I'm going to do a symmetry here. So yeah, that's looking a bit more correct, even though it looks a bit weird. <laughs> Yeah, this is a lot of kind of observation, trying to get the the kind of best approximation that you can. Um, So yeah, um, now moving on to the nose. Nose, there's uh, three options for nose, so it can be quite complicated to get a get the nose right. Um, it's kind of mostly straight. Uh, kind of a thick uh, nose tip, uh, nostrils a bit upwards, so we can start by doing that, um, size. Kind of big, so just a little bit more. Can scale it as well here, a bit wider.
and nostrils are kind of big. Oh, not really. Let's see. Yeah, they're kind of big. I think I scale a bit too much. It's just the nostrils. So yeah, the points up a little. Now this is the base. Let me see. Mm -hmm. In terms of thickness, is pretty much points maybe a bit less I can go to the off size and maybe move it a little bit Can I just the angle here, not so angle? There are those features. It's a bit down. Uh, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, I can increase the volume of the tip a little bit. Like I said, it seems a bit bulbous. Just a little bit. Uh, skin nostril flaring. Flaring a little bit. Maybe. Let's see here, here. Maybe I need to decrease the nostril size a little bit. Um, it is, the nose is not completely straight. You can see that it kind of curves. Let's see if I can Can I do anything about that? And this is scale. Yeah, I can move it a bit to this side. In the photo, in this photo in particular, looks a bit straighter. That's fine. Um, now to the mouth. So the mouth seems to be a bit wider. Mm. 
See if it has some some slight prognatism. So I need to adjust it for the draw later. lower lips a bit narrower cupid's bow is it the width of the quid yeah it's quite large so the the angle here Yeah, that looks good. Let me just see if I can adjust the prognative here a little bit. Uh, cleft. Uh, he doesn't look to have a cleft chin. But it, it is quite prominent. You can see here. It's quite wide as well. Let me see here. Yeah, his chin is quite big. So yeah. Middle here for the cleft chin doesn't have one. The angle is more triangular. So here you have the markers. The I think the orange is the left side. The yellow is the uh, right side so this is maximum minimum mm. yeah the width I wanted to adjust it yeah that seems quite a big chin
Let's see something about the eyes. Maybe I can uh, close the eyes a little bit here. On the left eye as well. Overall, I think I need to give him a bit more fat. Okay, I was doing the mouth before before I got sidetracked. Left lines, he has quite pronounced left lines. Here he is smiling more, let's say, in his more neutral face. It's almost straight, because he's doing something like this. Okay. Ultram is this. Uh, he has quite the uh, pronounced. We have the scale of the filtrum. Upper lip. Yeah, I think we're getting kind of close. 
Uh, the years, I don't really care that much. But I can try to make them match a little bit. Move it down a little. Left here. Chin and jaw are already done. Then we have left cheek. Let's go to the right first.
yeah, I think this is a good enough approximation. Um, we can go back and, and do more adjustments. I think for now this is okay. So I'm just gonna save it. And I'm gonna do one more thing. Um, you can save several instances if you're kind of not sure about if the what you're doing is quite good enough or if you want to go back to, to something earlier um, now for the export part so I'm gonna export it at wavefront and just leave it the way it is uh, the The size of medieval two units is meter. For those wondering, like approximately, you're still gonna have to kind of scale it a bit. Um, but I'm just gonna export it. And the, the three dots here to select a location, go bard. I'm gonna make a new folder or maybe not I'll just go to face and I'm just gonna go bard face high because this is the actually I'm gonna go to the geometries and I'm gonna remove his eyes just for now And I'm gonna export it again without eyes. Then I'm gonna go to geometries again. And I'm gonna go to topologies. Here you have none. You can select other types of topology. To see the topology, it's better to have the, the wireframe enabled. And here you have Mayo 1591. So this is a lower poly version that's more compatible with uh, Medieval 2. You also have a low poly I also, if you want. I don't really mind the high poly uh, eyes. I just have to kind of delete a few things from the eyes that are not needed. But for now, you just skip it at none. Uh, there's a proxy that's kind of even lower uh, but yeah this is gonna give you a pretty good topology to to work with you can add more detail to the, to this topology uh, one thing i'm not too fond of is the is the eyelid um just is just too thick and it is noticeable in medieval 2 for some reason uh, like the thick eyelid like that so it has to kind of be either deleted or adjusted later so yeah i'm just gonna export that as part face low and export uh, now it has exported some textures as well. I don't really use the textures. I, but it's, uh, it's kind of, if you want, you can use them. I use it. I usually just make one from, from scratch, but it's kind of sideways. I don't really like to work in a face sideways, which is a bit annoying. So I'm going to adjust that first. So I'm going to launch Houdini. 
and you can do this anywhere even maybe even milk shaped you just need to rotate the the uvs So okay, let's. So this is already a, a kind of more. The kind of work that I kind of like to go to to do. The, the workspace. So we have your network here. I'm gonna press tab, and go to file. And that's gonna just create a kind of box. Uh, So I'm going to double click and go inside and well, let me save first. Let's go save, go to my desktop, bard, face, go to face dot hip. It's going to save as hip and C, which is non-commercial, which is fine. And I'm gonna go to hip, uh, which is the folder. Hip is just the folder. It's located the the the, the folder where your um, where your file is saved. So your this is the folder where your file is located. Uh, so it's the dollar hip uh, folder here. So we're gonna go to Bard face high. And I'm gonna tab again and do another file. And I'm gonna go to bar face low. And here I'm gonna press space bar five. And that's gonna get, go to my UVs. Uh, here I have a, a selection and you can select uh, vertices, edges, or faces. I'm gonna just select faces. Uh, you can either go here to rotate or press R. Here they say like move T, uh, rotate R, scale E. So that's gonna give you a kind of information that you want. And you're gonna uh, rotate 90 degrees. Uh, to have exact here i have the, the properties open uh, properties if you just have your mouse over the network and you're clicked on the on the node the uv edit node you just press p and go to 90. i'm gonna go into more detail about houdini and i'm gonna do the same thing here kind of much lower UV but you, you can see they they located pretty much the same uh, on the same location and that's really useful so again rotate and I think it's minus 90 is that right yeah minus 90 um, so there roughly in the same place. If you want to be really, really exact, you probably want to go move the pivot to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And let's see, they should be pretty much um, perfectly aligned. Uh, you can see some parts disappearing. It's just the, the low poly uh, version doesn't have some some geometry some extra geometry but that doesn't really matter uh, for our purposes now uh, so basically i i like to still use the the high poly version uh, for uh, for heroes i think it, it's okay to use it for the battle map uh, for the strategy map you really want to use a lower poly version or if you want to just use straight up, just use the low poly version. That's kind of 
that's fine as well. And that's why I'm doing this. I'm gonna show you how to keep the detail from the high from the high poly version into the low poly version using normal maps. So I'm gonna write it and I'm just gonna say UV just so to make sure it's the I differentiate between the the different files so we're gonna save it as UV and here it has a like write file write file here you can see it's read file so it's gonna read the file so it has a dual purpose you can uh, do read and write operations so read is gonna load it or import it and write is gonna export it or save it or whatever you want to call it so yeah so you have your your two geometries ready and I'm gonna open X normal okay so next normal I'm gonna go to high definition match meshes I'm gonna remove mesh that I have here you don't have to if you don't have any and I'm gonna right click here and add meshes go to my desktop uh, barred face and high UV so this is my high definition so high poly meshes and go to low definitions gonna remove mesh and I'm gonna use the low the low UV mesh make sure it's right and then go to baking option uh, here you can select where it's gonna save it so just gonna phase save it into texture zero save as uh, face normal and I'm, I'm saving as Targa uh, PGA you can save it as, as something else you, you have several options here BJPEG, PNG um, DDS even but yeah, TGA is fine even yeah so here you can make all sorts of maps if you want I'm just gonna do the normal map uh, scale um, here you can make a like even a, like a 4k texture size but I'm just gonna do the 1024 by 1024 And you can leave these default bucket rendering anti aliases anti aliasing the, the maximum. And if you have everything kind of ready, you can go and generate map, and it's gonna generate a normal map for you based on the on the difference between the low poly and the high poly meshes. So yeah, and it's basically done. Close it and you can take a look at it. So yeah, it's gonna give you a lot of those kind of um, details that you lose from the, from using a low poly mesh, but it's gonna also give you some artifacts uh, I don't know, people might be kind of scared of touching the, the normal maps, but you can just use the same tools that you use normally. You can use a clone tool to just move it out a little bit. Or just paint over it. Yeah. 
if you think it's too it's gonna create some some weird artifacts uh but yeah this, this is something that i'm gonna i'm probably gonna generate a normal map based on the texture and i'm gonna use those areas for things like uh, the the ears and, and the kind of inside of the eye and the mouth and the rest i'm gonna leave it as it is so it's gonna have a pretty good result so yeah the the next step then well, i can kind of let me go back to my high poly mesh and i'm gonna save it again and i'm gonna export it with the eyes um, you can even export it as a t-pose if you want if you go to pose animate you can go to pose and it's gonna give you like this Kind of weird typos uh, but kind of might give you give you some idea of the proportions save again uh this time i'm gonna export it as meter uh, i didn't give him his eyes just a second so geometries eyes give me a high poly uh, color of the eyes you can change as well. Um, he has like green eyes. Yeah, those look green to me. If you go to materials, you can go to eyes and select like is it like a dark green uh, i'm gonna replace it anyway but i'm gonna give it my own material but so yeah so this time i'm gonna uh, export as meter instead of decimeter and yeah, I'm gonna just gonna just gonna go bar the base. Exported and it's done. So yeah, next time I'm gonna start with the modeling and I'm gonna uh, maybe get the face and the, the hair kind of out of the way so it's kind of done already. So yeah, see you.